WhiteCataractCoach.com White Cataract Needle Decompression You can depressurize the capsule bag by removing liquefied lens cortex. Of course, this is meant for an intumescent white cataract. Our guest certainly here is Dr. Ahmad Thohir from Indonesia. And you can see this is a cataract that is intumescent. The liquefied lens cortex is pressurized in the capsule bag. So tripan blue dye was used. Now you can put viscoelastic and you can see how pressurized that bag is. So we're going to do a needle decompression, going in with a needle on an empty syringe. And you can go and you can aspirate out some of the liquefied lens material and thereby decompress the capsule bag, remove that pressure gradient. I like to go and bevel down because I think I'm more likely to aspirate some of that lens material and I'm less likely to aspirate the anterior lens capsule. But in this case, bevel up works too. It's whatever your preference is. Notice how the caps are um, bagged. The anterior cap is already ripped a little bit uncontrollably. Got to be careful here. Now, refill of viscoelastic is a smart idea. And our goal now is let's make that capsule rexus. So going in with the forceps, and now that it's been decompressed, your risk of an Argentine flag sign or a runaway caps rexus is much lower. So good control here, getting a nice round rexus. Again, error on the side of being a little on the small side because you can always spiral it out. And you want to be prepared at any moment to be able to bring it in and quickly finish it up. Also remember the liquefied lens material is not just above the lens nucleus, it's also behind it. And as a result, you want to also rock that nucleus. After you aspirate some of the anterior liquefied cortex, rock the nucleus to get some of that posterior fluid to come around the equator of the nucleus. And then you can aspirate that as well. So beautiful rexus here. Look at that. Very nicely done. And now the rest of the case should be relatively routine. Again, the high-risk part of this case was getting the capsule rexus done. More dispersive viscoelastic is a good idea. Here comes a phaco probe and a chopper. Let's see what we're going to do here. Probably a, it's a horizontal chop, maybe. So cleaning up some of the lens material for here, the anterior lens material. And let's see our technique. And phaco probe going into the nucleus. And what are we going to do with that chopper? Bury the phaco probe. I like that. Chopper on the equator. Looks like a pretty good horizontal chop. And propagate that chop through. Very nicely done. Now, that may have not fully split, which is okay. You rotate the nucleus and chop off another piece, and you can certainly get a quadrant free. So, buzz the phaco probe. You want a cheap vacuum that's good holding power. Chopper goes around to the equator, and it chops off that quarter. So, now one quarter of the lens nucleus is available. Ah, I like the little sub-chop there to make that quarter into eighths. And those pieces can be emulsified pretty easily. At this point, the case is relatively routine. So, definitely use the technique of needle decompression. And again, you want to use a small gauge, 27 gauge needle would be great. You could do 25 or 30 gauge, but 27 is kind of the sweet spot. You want to use an, a 3cc syringe. You can fill the syringe halfway, about one and a half cc's of bound salt solution. And you want to be able to poke it in there. And again, I go bevel down and poke in and then immediately aspirate. And then get that lens, liquefied lens material out and then also rock the nucleus, remember? So you get that posterior liquefied cortex to come around the capsule, around the equator of the lens nucleus, and you can aspirate that too, and fully depressurize the capsule bag. Once the capsule bag is fully depressurized, getting the rex is done is really not much of an issue. It's pretty routine at that point. And you can see at the end of the case, everything else is going to be pretty routine. Cleaning up whatever little lens material is left, fill in the capsule bag, we put our lens in the eye. So a beautiful case. I want to thank this doctor for sending the video in. It's always nice to see that. We have featured needle decompression many times before. You can certainly go to cataractcoach.com where you'll find much more information than just YouTube videos. And you'll be able to search with a much better search engine. So on cataractcoach.com, you could search for needle and you'll find all the needle decompression videos or search for the weed decompression. And we've featured this many times before. And it's a technique that you absolutely must know how to do. Here's the end of the case. Beautifully done. Everything looks great.